People gathered tonight for a vigil to remember a 36 year old Sioux Falls man lost to gun violence. Kimball Lance Carter Schmidt spoke with the family's loved ones earlier today, and he returned from the vigil a short time ago. Yeah, Dan, the vigil for Tunis Lomax was, you might imagine, mournful and somber. Cynthia Lomax of Sioux Falls identified a shooting victim, Tunis, as her husband, whom she says was brought to a hospital but died from his injuries. His family remembers two niece as a loving and caring husband, father, brother, and friend. Everybody that been coming over, they always say the same thing. Oh, he's so good. He's so nice. He's always waiting to help. Always. He's a very, very friendly person. All the people he come across, they like him. So whoever that is involved with this, we need justice. No, he's so loving. I mean, he doesn't ever want to ever see you sad. Whenever you are sorry about something, he want to make sure he puts a smile on your face. I just talked to him day before yesterday. I was just so shocked when they called me yesterday and said he was shot and he's dead. Sioux Falls police say a report that someone was shot had officers responding to the East 26th Street and South Bonson Avenue area around 2 a.m. Saturday. This is in East Sioux Falls, not far north of Harvey Dunn Elementary School. There's now a memorial for Tunis nearby. I woke up immediately from it, but I was like, oh no, somebody got shot. So I went in my mom's room to wake her up, um, from her that somebody got shot. And then she went to the window, um, saw our car there, and then she ran downstairs and she saw him just laying there. They called the ambulance, they rushed into the hospital, and in half an hour, I'm pretty sure the police came back and said, oh, he didn't make it. Tony Rotman and Carol Dirksen live nearby. I was back in my bedroom, and all of a sudden I hear, like, pop, 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 and I like stopped and I thought to myself, I did not just hear gunfire. It's not usually around here and next thing you know, I hear sirens and they're getting closer and closer and then I see light. I didn't hear anything happen until the police were knocking on our doors. They came and knocked on all the doors in here to count for everybody and to see if anybody heard or saw anything. All the neighbors are very upset about this because they all think Tomas is such a great guy, so he was always friendly. Naboy Smith had been friends with Tunis while they each lived in Connecticut. They were friends in South Dakota, too. This morning I woke up from bed and I, I was just tearing, tears run out of my eyes because I could imagine my little kids mm -hmm. leaving them this early. And so I kind of put myself in his shoes. This is something that we never saw coming. And I never expected such a thing like this, that a young man, a promising young man. Now the family wants answers. We know that he's not going to come back anymore in our life. We need justice. Additional information on what police have described as a homicide investigation is expected at tomorrow morning's 10:30 police briefing in Sioux Falls. Thanks a lot, Carter. A new